Eh, <laughs> yeah. We've Black done it. Level up, dude. Time for another episode of Dabcraft. This music is going crazy right now. So, welcome back to Dabcraft, everybody. The hardcore Minecraft series where every night we have a nice little dab session. Today is day 35 here in Dabland, Wheatopia. If you don't know my first challenge, I gave myself a challenge to start this series of getting my bread up, trying to fill this chest full with bread within 30 days. And it didn't quite meet my goal. That's making me reconsider my entire life. No, but it's making me reconsider like how I want to do this series. Like, do I want to keep making challenges and goals for myself, or do I want to just kind of like have a little more freedom, make it a little more casual. I don't know, man. I honestly don't know. Because I, I did it to make it interesting to other people, but I also did it for myself, the whole challenge thing. I like giving myself goals and directions in Minecraft. Hey, Guru Pico, what's up, Taylor? When was the last time you played Minecraft, Taylor? I'm pretty sure you, you've crafted a bit in your day. So yeah, I gave myself this goal. A couple weeks back. And I failed. And now we're just doing whatever. Nah, big. No, I, I still do want to fill my chest full with bread. I'm still going to complete my goal. I think this this first day until we get to our first night time and have our first dab today, uh, I think I'm just going to chat it up with the people hanging out with me live on stream and farm. And then maybe we'll do some more exciting shit tomorrow once we're super stoned. Oh yeah, we've started exploring a mine shaft. That's pretty exciting. I got a golden apple. Almost forgot about that. I am still determined to get every music disc on this playthrough, hopefully. You've been playing any other new or fun games lately? It's just been Fortnite, Minecraft, and Rocket League for me lately, which are like most old played out games out there other than like Call of Duty. But uh, those are my jams. I don't play many video games these days. It's like... On that Dragon's Dogma right now. Dragon's Dogma, yeah? What's the deal with the game again? I know I've seen it. I don't know anything about it, though. Can someone... I do have redstone. Does anyone know how to make the, the clock? Do I need the, a daylight detector to make those? The, like, the handheld timepiece thing? I can't remember what they're called. That's what I really need, though, for this series. For gold, surrounding redstone dust, XD. I would love to play some good board games. I haven't played a good board game in a long time. I do play D&D, but I play a fuck ton of board games, too. So much. Wheat. wonder if it's nighttime. I have no idea if it's nighttime yet. Hmm. Hmm. Four gold surrounding redstone dust? That's all it is? Oh, okay. I was like, why had come up in my freaking, like, little recipe book then? It's because I haven't smelted any gold yet. This makes sense. Alright, let's just go back up to the surface. It's probably about dab time. If you don't know, a Minecraft day is 20 minutes long, so about almost every 10, 15 minutes I have to do a dab here. Yo, it's terp time. I think you need more wheat. That's not enough, Jack. I think you need more wheat. Dude, you would think I would have enough wheat production, but I it just took me too long to make all these farms. I wanted to have this full by three days ago, or five days ago. So we're a little bit behind schedule, but look, we still got a bunch more to farm. But yeah, that's why there's farms as far as the eye can see. All the way up here, it's pretty much all I've done on this world. Wheat time. I'm a wheat farmer. Gardener, as they say on TikTok. Okay. Jack heard, Jack heard someone, someone say, say stack, stack that, that bread, bread and, and he, he took that, that personally. personally. No, literally though, that's a part of the the series is that I'm trying to get my my bread up in real life. So I came up with this goal in Minecraft. And, you know, maybe if I can do it real good in Minecraft, I can also do it in real life. It's kind of been working too. My, my financial situation has improved significantly. LMAO love it. Since starting the series, at least. We're moving up. Um... Mostly going to be doing shatter today. I have been flying through all my rosin lately. I just got a second gram of this super special stuff that I'll share with you guys uh, in a few dabs from now. It's called Raspberry Surprise from Sunshine. This stuff is 
some top tier smoke. I very seriously considered getting an extra gram just to keep forever in my fridge and my head stash to be able to share with anyone I please years from now potentially. But I don't know. It's right on it's right on the border for me for wanting to keep it forever and just wanting to smoke it now and enjoy it and then be done with it. Does anybody else have a little stash of dabs or flour or anything like that that they just w wish they could have forever? That's what they called the head stash in the in the biz. Some shatter in there. This is that daily grapes shatter. I would join if I wasn't working. It's awesome. Dude, my camera looks kind of crazy right now. Everything looks like super high contrast for some reason. We're heating up. Cheers. Go one, two, three. To go up to the hotter temp because we've got it on a rosin temp right now, not a big shatter dab temp. Yeah, it's it's mid hearings, as you might assume. For those who aren't familiar with the cannab cannabis landscape here in Colorado Springs, we're one of the few counties in Colorado where um, recreational dispensaries are not allowed. So within this city limits of our city, which is like one of the biggest in Colorado and also in the U.S., believe it or not, no rec med shops or weed shop. Do you not know about the Palmer Lake shops yet? There's two recreational stores up in Palmer Lake, which is just west of Monument, that are way better options than Manitou. Uh, those have been around for like two years now. Yeah, they're actually great stores. We're with a few people that work there. Alpine Essentials and Grateful Flowers. The Grateful Flowers one is like rock and roll themed. It's got a pretty cool interior, I guess. But yeah, they're still more expensive than Meta, but quite a bit cheaper than Manitou prices. Good dab. That was a long dab. <coughs> I was dabbing on that excess, the Dr. Dabber excess. We're on the Boost, which is like the big brother of the the excess. Um, day 36 is and it's raining. But yeah, that the excess just takes a little more reheat. Usually, I'll have to do one or two more heat cycles with the same size dab. The boost packs a little more power. It can go a little hotter. I honestly like the excess more though, just for its increased portability. They're such great devices. I don't know if that's my number one recommended e-rig though anymore. If I like, if someone were asking me what they should what device they should get to start with I'm not really sure what I would tell people can I climb this no I can't destroy my crops though fuck dude we're stacking the bread right now we're stacking it look at me go that shit's satisfying as fuck honestly I gotta that's what I need to start doing is just letting everything grow to, to maximum it's not as efficient we're not as concerned with the fucking efficiency at this point Minecraft ASMR is real. Yeah. Damn, dude, that's I only got one deck of bread from all that. You'd think it would be so much more. The Minecraft ASMR is real. Yeah, they're getting you. Dude, speaking of which, get my music back. I've decided that I want the Minecraft music to be a big part of this series because I really love Minecraft music. So I was kind of just like hoping that the game would constantly play me music, but the game's so fickle with it, they, the music will only play for like a twentieth of the time you're actually playing the game. So I'm just gonna play the Minecraft soundtrack in the background. Minecraft music is too good, man. So I think that's enough farming for now. Let's ditch the farming for a day and go explore some more. We're gonna go down into the scary place oh wait dude we can make the fucking this thing shout out guru pitka for teaching me how to make a clock i can't believe how easy it is so now when i do this it should say new recipes yup yup um go here this where is it oh, i need more probably i would imagine saw it you saw it i need to untick the one there <laughs> yeah We've done it. Level up, dude. Fucking up. Okay, so, dude, this is seriously how we level up this this series here. Well, so now I don't even, I don't, dude, first in my head, I'm like, oh, it's way easier to, I don't even have to come upstairs anymore to, because the whole reason why I always dabbed up there was because I never knew where the sun was at. 
Now we could do a dab in the caves if we want. Dive. What drops bone meal when it dies? I guess fish do? It's kind of weird. I don't know why I have all this bread in my inventory. So this is my cave. It's super cool. One day we're going to go all the way down there, but it's really scary, and I'm too scared to do it right now. Um, there's this other part over here. We can get down into the abandoned mine shaft. Oh, God. Yo, this music right now is mad creep. Ooh. So, yeah, we're doing it. We're fucking exploring abandoned mine shaft, and we're going to work really hard not to die. We're not going to die at all. There's all my abandoned seeds. What's up, Mr. Enderman? Poor guy's trapped in there. All right, so this is where I almost got lost last time, I think. I need to like clear this out a little bit to make, make more sense in my brain. Goop, doop, scoop. Oh, look at this music. I like to do this at all those junctures. Oh, okay, so we've been this way. Almost like that, dude. Okay. Okay, we're in fresh territory. The danger. Smell it. Buckle up, everybody. Oh, oh God. Why am I here? I don't even know what I'm looking for, man. It'd be cool to find some diamonds. Oh, dude, it's almost night time. Let's go. We've done it. <laughs> the music changes, and now all of a sudden I'm like, success. The, t the vibe is totally different. <laughs> that move that is fucking me up, man. <laughs> These corners just always scare the fuck out of me, man. Okay. Okay, so that's this is the way out. I've done pretty dang good exploring this so far, honestly. There's not much left. Why is this song such a fucking banger? This ain't Minecraft music. It's C418 though. That, that dude is just straight up trapped there. I think he's been there for a while. We've done it. It's almost dab time. Choose from dabbing here. Super scared because I know there's like big drops around here. I really want to get level 30 and find some diamonds. I think I said once I hit level 30, I'll go down the hole. Oh shit. Oh shit. This is a good way to go. Go down from here. We got Zombo. We got an Ender Boy. Almost looked at him. Zombo's coming. Does he have a path to me? I don't think so. Damn, this cave is gorgeous too. Look at this. Look how deep down this shit goes. I keep almost looking at these fucking Endermen. Ah! All right, it's nighttime, y'all. Let's do our ground dab. We're in. We're getting ready to enter the next layer of the cave. God damn it! You need to stop nearly looking at that guy. Yeah, I think it's safe enough to just do a dab right here. I don't think there's any chance of anything spawning behind me. You should install a shader mod. Install a shader. Super easy to do. Oh, he does have a path to me. Maybe. Yeah, dude, I should. I love shaders. Let's do another shatter dab. Some cherry slime made here. This stuff's pretty yummy. Another dab on the Dr. Dabber XS here. Oh fuck, is he? Oh, does he just, <laughs> he just loses sight of me as he gets into this corner because of the brush. And then because of that, he like can't get to me. He has to like go up behind it. And then once he's there, he's like, where'd he go? How's work and stuff's <laughs> been jacked? That's kind of funny. Work's been great, man. It's been very good. Thank you for asking. All right, we're just gonna keep an eye on this guy. <laughs> that guy's still just bouncing around in the corner. It's fucking silly. All right, can I? There we go. Scoop. Do a little bit of taco action. Wings up, everybody. We're going in. Cheers, buddy. Hey, cheers. Cheers, motherfucker. <laughs> this is great dabbing fucking music right now. This song is called Blind Spots. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Where are they? Ah, dude. We're living on the edge right now. We got two zombos in the corner now. You're making me drool. Tasty. Alright, we're gonna go kill these guys in a moment. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He made it out. What the fuck? That's so funny. God damn. The excess, I, one thing I really like about the excess, it feels like dabs, like a smaller dab feels bigger. There's three creepers fu fucking chilling down here. What the fuck? So how we were talking about the music before, 
This is the music that the game is playing right now. This is the actual in-game music. This is fucking gorgeous. I'm loving it. Great choice, game. I really need to not look at this Enderman. Okay, we got more zombos approaching. That shit's funny. A little zombie trap. A piece of grass like that? Oh my gosh. Okay, so day is about to start? Or is it about to be midday? I'm actually not sure. I assume it's day is about to start when the whole sky is blue. I think that makes the most sense in my brain. So that looks like a poison spider spawner, which we definitely don't want to fuck with that. I need some more torches. Where to call that? Um, yeah, so it's kind of it's kind of precarious over here. Cause if there's a spawner right there, that means they're just gonna like rain down on me. I keep almost fucking with that Enderman. I hate it. Gotta stop doing that. It's been like a very common theme in this series. This is almost staring at Enderman. I need fucking torches. I can't yeah, I can't really dive much deeper here until I get some coal. Let's go do that, I guess. What's your guys' favorite thing to do in Minecraft if you're watching right now on YouTube? One of mine is is just like exploring, specifically like in caves. Caves where there's like a little bit of danger and stuff like that. It's one of my favorite things to do. So that's what I'm doing right now. Holy fuck. Don't. Don't go here. <laughs> Much danger. Okay. That shit was kind of squeaky. This song, not not all about that. Squeakiness. Okay. Enderman's still there. This is safe. This is a safe place. This. Way over here. If I even hear a fucking spider, we're out of here. Mother. Ow. I need to like tunnel up here, I guess. It's probably the. Oh. What the f Fuck! What the fuck? We're in a fuck! That... I don't like that. Bruh! Okay, okay. Okay, bro. Okay. I'm running. I'm out of watermelon. I like oceans like that when they have magma blocks in there that you can get air from. There was no magma blocks, so I was not about that spot. That guy's a dick. My whole mob trap thing isn't really a thing anymore. This cave is fucking crazy, man. That is a mo- that's a spider spawner right there. Fuck that. I don't even know about this whole area. That- that shit is so sketchy. That fence to remind me that that's sketchy. Yeah, so if I- I float down into that cave, I'm just gonna be like triggering the poison spider spawner as I do it. That's a big nope from me. Nope the fuck out. I like the way everything turned out in here. Here's the diode. Should I go explore down into the geode? So like, yeah, those will grow back, right? What can I do that? It says new FPS. Ding dong. Let me see if I can figure out what to do with the crystals. Calibrated skulk sensor. The fuck does that do? I don't, I don't know. I can craft a block by glass. That sounds pretty cool. How the fuck do I make a spy glass? Or what do I do with it? I guess let's try. There's fucking copper right here. Let's do it. This I've never used. This is kind of exciting. I've never done a spyglass before. Hopefully it's cool. Dude. <clears throat> oh my gosh. So now it's midday, I'm pretty sure. I am wicked stunned from that last time. Oh! Oh! I just planted a glowberry! Hell yeah! I didn't realize that's how you did that. I forgot that you can do that. Oh, bro. I'm about to glowberry the fuck out of my cave upstairs for sure. Although I don't spend- I don't need to spend as much time up there anymore. All right, we got a spy glass. We're a spy now. What the fuck? Oh, I was like, I hear a beast. Wow, chat that. I do. You guys know that meme? That meme is so fucking funny. It makes me cry. Oh, uh, this this shit is crazy cool. Can I put my offhand? Oh, wild. Just ready to fucking snipe somebody whenever. That shit's cool. Dude, low key, I've wanted that a few times during this series where I'm like, damn, I wish I could zoom in a little bit. Like you could with Optifine. Wild Glowberry. So that seems kind of sketchy. That record scratch sketched me out. Gather all the Glowberries now. Dude, I'm like learning a lot about Minecraft this episode. I think you can... I think I can get the shears. Those things are really cool. I like the... 
the particles that they create. Yes. I was like, damn, did it not work? Boar blossom. Sick. Oh, they're so dumb. Dude, it's almost nighttime and I am fucking high. Like, I wonder if I could put a bunch of spore blossom things. I wonder if I could put one up here. Probably not. Let's see. Oh, you can't. Crazy. I could line this geode with spore blossoms. Might be kind of cool. I guess I should find these developed ones. Maybe I'll make something cool out of amethyst. Oh, you can plant glowberries in here. That's fucking cool. So we can do some natural lighting. We can make this room the new smoke spot and just like pimp it out. Do a dab on the Terp Slurper banger. Dude, that's a great idea. I'm down. It's just turning night. It's easy. It's We have like more potential to do slurper dabs now that we have a clock because it's easier to know when nighttime is starting. Ooh, I just remembered. I forgot my like supplementary light here. Let there be light. This is a minimal brightness on this thing. Can you believe that? This is 5% brightness. You think it's bright enough? <laughs> this thing's awesome. Looks great as an accent light over there. I just throw it into the corner. Okay. <clears throat> Sleeper dab. Do we do pillar? Oh, there's so many options. Pillar dab or no pillar dab? Chat, somebody pick. And then we'll need to decide rosin or no rosin. Probably rosin, I'm thinking for this one. Pillar? All right. Pillar time. Love pillar dabs. Minimal brightness, sun. Do you want it on one sun, two suns, three suns? It goes all the way up to 20. 16 million lumens. It is night 37, which means it's dab number 38. If you don't know, if you didn't watch episode one, Minecraft starts on day zero. So my first dab, dab number one was technically on night zero and day zero. So the number of dabs that I've done in the series is always the number of days plus one. Once it's nighttime, that is, I guess. Number of nights plus one. A hyper blue giant. All right, we're getting too specific with the sun puns. You lost me. No. <laughs> so I'm just Q-tipping my banger. Dry of any ISO. Dude, it's been a while since I've done a dab on this tiny little rig. I gotta forget how meticulous it is to balance everything. Mini rigs are lit. This thing just doesn't have the widest base, so it, it doesn't balance well. Okay. Hey, thank you so much for the resub, Ashley. Appreciate that, man. This dab is for you. That's a perfect dab to dedicate to you, man, because I've got some really special stuff here. It's already like halfway through night, so I gotta fucking go really fast here. I'm taking way too long. This is Raspberry Surprise. This is, um, it's Strawberry Cooler and SMZ is the cross which cooler is like straw guava and and something that i really like i'm gonna do this throw it into pillar oh get in there do one i shouldn't do a, this big of a dab because this is dab craft and i'm gonna have to do another one in literally like 10 minutes but we're doing it to celebrate ashlar's resub love you so much man Here's thank you for your continued hey, support okay so that we're gonna drop in once it's hot just gotta get to torching Torch is up, everybody. <clears throat> the fucking igniter on my torch has been going out, so it takes me three to five tries to light my torch every time I want to get spicy with it. So on a slurper, I usually heat the bottom first, and then the upper part of the tower or column, which is the part that I want to do most of the work vaporizing. I want the, to use the bottom to melt it down, good state, where it can be easily sucked up into the top part of the slurper where I vaporize everything. So after giving the top part a lot of heat, I do a little more on the base, on the bottom, and then one more even coating of heat and flame to the tower. Then I'm just going to drop this pillar in instantly because I'm almost out of butane, so I probably just barely got this hot enough. The pillar takes a little more time to get hot. It's really fun though because you get to watch it melt. Check it out. Yeah, it's go time. My marble. Cheers, yo. Oh yeah, holy shit. Nighttime is almost over. We barely made it. 
Let's get a little reheat. I do the same methodology when reheating. A little heat to the base to get everything moving. And then the majority of the heat to the top part of the column. So tasty. <clears throat> and then it goes straight into the ISO. Not straight. Nighttime just ended. So that was... We pretty much perfectly timed that. That dab. Well done, everybody. Well done. Whoever said the do a slurper dab, you're at, like, you nailed that. That was exactly what I needed. Like, couldn't have asked for a better timed redemption. Got some glow berries growing in here already. That's pretty, pretty cool. Such chill music. Yeah, this is coming straight from the game right now, too. The game's popping off right now. Damn, we've got quite a bit of wheat. Let's see if... Should I just harvest here? It might be... It might be a harvest day today. I think it's been two to two days since I've harvested. On the plant. Can you elaborate? Sorry, I'm... I'm not getting that one. Where the fuck does this guy go? Oh, what the fuck? Tried to sneak attack me, little shit. Okay. I need to make a... Chest down here. Now that we're more of a cave type of... Crafter. Boop. Boop, boop. I wonder if I can grab like vines of this oh yeah no you can't okay so this is like fully grown and i don't even need to worry throwing the single seeds i should only refrain from destroying ones that are like almost fully grown like that one in the corner freaking wheat give it to me my wheat per second right now is unreal it's the highest it's ever been it's the highest it's ever been for sure now go for record seeds per second through the waterfall don't try that at home. I want to come up with a name. All right, guys. <laughs> I just came up with a really fucking silly idea. I want to brand my bread. Uh, Cause it's, it's some pretty top tier bread. I need something to do with it, you know, uh, as well. But, oh, what the fuck? Am I being possessed? By a witch? Bro, I just like walked off the edge. I did not want to do that. I don't know if something's <laughs> wrong with my fucking fingers. Am I having a, some sort of brain issue right now? I don't know. That was weird. I think I'm okay. Well, that's good to know that I won't die there. That's happened to me a few times today where I like felt like I was like drifting and I was like pressing a button that I wasn't wanting to press. I don't know if it's my keyboard or something I'm doing wrong. It's weird. It's kind of scary though. Up we go. What the fuck was I talking about? I have no idea. I'm really high. This game is interesting because... The wheat, like, if I plant it all at the time like this, it's not gonna all complete growing anywhere near the same time. Which I feel like wheat in real life is a lot more consistent in its growth. Maybe not though. <laughs> so much wheat, fucking it. That shit took a while. Damn, it's almost nighttime already. I just fucking spent like a whole day farming that one thing. It felt inventory's full, I'm pretty sure. I should. If I really wanted to, like, give some perspective to myself and other people, I should have been keeping all my seeds instead of throwing any away. I'd have so many chests full by now, though. I don't think anyone cares. Damn, dude. It's almost nighttime. Holy shit. Fucking crazy. Okay, so... Now that I'm doing the method where I'm letting everything grow, my cute little box farms that I made feel a little more reasonable when compared to like my big strawn out, strewn out ones because that, that that was really efficient right there love me some efficiency yeah what do you say we dab upstairs for old sake huh do I have any glow berries to plant I'm gonna plant some glow berries upstairs night time has just fallen oh my god I'm so stoned I definitely need to do a small little dab here because I was already I spent the, the beginning of the day um, making another video with my friend Billy from Instagram he showed me that he makes temple balls at home anyone ever heard of a temple ball it's like old-school hash he does the uh, French cannoli method if anyone's familiar so that shit was really cool so I was already pretty stoned from trying some temple balls and hanging out with him. He and I just like we're passing our carts back and forth and shit like that for a bit. Always fun session with a homie. But yeah, today we made a little YouTube video. It was fun. If anyone ever wants to sesh, I'm always down to hang out and get super stoned together. 
I'm also always down to make a video about it too if you want or if you have any fun ideas or I could come up with something of course I'm good at that um, but yeah I've learned though that how uh, terrible it is what a trap it is to try to turn all, every the fun thing I do in my life into content maybe we'll do it again one day once we get paid enough for it oh yeah oh yeah this is some good farming music right Alright, we're gonna do this one and then do a dab. Then it's dead. It is currently nighttime, but I'm not gonna be doing a, a dab with the torch here. <laughs> I'm so fucking fried, dude. Holy shit. That last dab, that raspberry surprise is amazing. And then, of course, that was a dope slurper dab. The old rig dabs. I don't know. Me personally, I can't. I don't know if I can properly say get way higher from a rig dab everyone in like the dabbing community maintains that an e-rig of puffco dr dabber carta you know they're dope but it'll never get you as high as a good quartz banger dab on a nice rig some nice glass but personally i don't know if that's true i don't know like i feel like it's a lot more about the quantity. Like you sit there, like the thing about most rigs and torch banger dabs is you're just vaporizing more, more oil more quickly, especially with like something like Lurper. So I feel like that's the main reason why people are like, that's superior. I just want some fucking zombie meat. I don't even care right now. But me, I'm like, I kind of like, like if I do the same amount of product or maybe a little more, in an e-rig, I feel like I get the same stoned, or a little even more stoned. But I don't know, man. I'm really fucking high from that slurper dab, so maybe that's arguing for itself right there. I need to hit this reheat. It's already after midnight. After midnight. Don't let it all hang out. Like, what do I want to do a dab up? Alright, yeah, let's finish off this violet fuel. And no, fuck it. Let's just do a tiny little shatter dab. We'll we'll finish the violet fuel for our last dab. I almost dropped that gram. That was crazy. Another dab of cherry slime. This stuff's super yummy. A little bit smaller dab. Still a pretty decent sized dab, but not as big as I normally like to do when it comes to shatter. When it's shatter, I like to glob it up. Really get greedy with it just because it's so cheap. And it don't quite taste as good. It's not bad tasting, but it's just... It's just got a shattery... Taste to it. Get out of here. It's a very distinct most shatter. Okay. You guys don't need a melt shot on this one. You've seen it before. Today. We're just gonna get in here. Cheers. Thank you so much to everybody hanging out with me live. And anyone who's watching the YouTube video. Really appreciate it. Check out this new trick. This is a new trick I put up my sleeve last night. It's subtle. But my camera is moving now. <laughs> can you guys even tell? It's minimal. You can tell when it goes over that little bump, that's for sure. Yeah, I should fix that a little bit. Yeah, a little buzzy. I like it. I'll take it. Maybe yeah, I just leave it going the whole time. <laughs> it looks weird inside the, the small frame. I'm just like slightly, slowly shifting around. Maybe I do slightly slower. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know if it makes sense to be have constantly panning. This one's really close to completely grown. Really close to almost official grower ter state term. State certified terminology. I need, I think it'll probably be the most grown. Whoops. But let's make some bread, I guess. More breads. I think I'm kind of farmed out for a bit. I think I want to go exploring. Maybe on, maybe top side. To change it up. <laughs> Whoops. I was like, where am I going? I almost hurt myself. I should probably grab some melons real quick. Always grab some melons before you go out on an adventure. Just in case. Whew. My throat is a uh, spicy. This is the last day of this sesh. This place is crazy. Pretty scary. If I get some underwater or breathing type shit, I could do some cool stuff in here maybe. Alright, I am on... The surface of the world. What else? What out? What? Zombie? Huh. Don't burn, bro. Don't hit me. Don't you fucking me. Damn, it's almost nighttime. God damn, I'm so fucking stoned. I kind of got shrecked. Whoa, look at this sh view of my cave. Cool. 
kind of got shrecked by the dabs today. It's just like, someone's growing some weed down there. For sure. As night falls, it's time for me to do yet another dab. I don't know if I can do it. Just kidding. I definitely can, but holy crap. This is the first time I've ever really been like, do I really have to? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, fuck. I forgot about that. This music is not appropriate. I hate those things. Don't fuck up my crops, dude. You mother duck. All right, I'm just gonna do a quick dab and farm. I'm so stoned. I don't, <laughs> I don't really know what else to do. I just want to be done with my bread challenge. Like I don't want to do it anymore, but I want to do it so badly. Like I have to do it. I know it's boring. I'm, I'm honestly, yeah. So this is my last get dab. Like I said, I'm gonna finish this other gram of rosin. It's called Violet Fuel from Sunshine Extracts. Um, let me see if I can clean my dab real quick because it's been a little blurry from some melt shots. Night is officially starting. Damn, night hasn't officially started until right now. I, I, start, I start my dabs a little early, I guess. Uh, yeah, this is Violet Fuel number two. This stuff's really yummy. I like this strain. It was just a little too much for my brain, I think. <laughs> I think this is good for the final dab. It's a little tiny, but it's going to be extra terpy. Thanks for joining me on this one, everybody. This was a special one. This was a lot of fun. I'm very stoned right now. Cheers. Cheers, yo. Violet fuel going down the hatch. Very tasty. This strain is interesting to me and notable because, uh, uh, because there's a violet fuel number three as well. So this is number two, and then they also have rosin of violet fuel number three. So if I were had a little more money, I would get both and compare them. If you're watching on YouTube right now and you made it this far, add to your comment or leave another comment. Do two comments on one video and you're a legend. That would be sick, actually. Because before I asked something, hopefully you guys remember. <laughs> or, yeah. But this time, <laughs> I'm fuck man, I'm so stuck. This time, my question for you is, do you think this fucking panning camera is stupid? Should I toss it, get rid of it, only do it for small portions? Let me know what you think. I'd love your feedback. <laughs> I'd like to think that of my small audience, there's a couple other cannabis content creators out there, so I really valuable. I really value your guys' opinion. Holy fuck, I can speak I swear. Okay, so yeah, day 39 is coming to a close. I'm just gonna farm it out here, y'all. Day 40 begins next time, next week. Remember, we got new episodes coming every Friday, till I die, <laughs> in the game, of course. How crazy would it be if I keep this series going until I die? And I like die when I'm like 90. Like, hopefully I'm not jinxing myself. I'll farm it all like I know you to win the weed at all fuck farm it all farm it all like I know you to farm it all I'm just not even a good fucking parody <laughs> move along farm it all what's a I should come up with a good wheat sweet rhyme with move your feet cut the wheat chop the wheat can't stop can't chop can't chop the wheat go dun, 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 dun. everybody Chop that wheat and feel united. Whoa. You guys know what song I'm talking about? Everybody. Chop the wheat and feel united. What's another song where it talks about feet? Or the beat. Beat it. Just wheat. Just weed it. No, I think there's a good Daft Punk song where they talk about the beat or something. There's got to be a good one where we can beat with wheat and make a hits wheat related single. That's something I think about a lot for cannabis content. It's one of my favorite top throwback questionnaire. Here's another question for anyone watching on YouTube or live. Did anyone ever watch, I was big into League of Legends like maybe, gosh, it must have been like 2012, 2013. What, that was like 10 years ago. One, of, one big League of Legends channel that blew up was this channel that, 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 that did League song parodies. So they would just like create all these parodies about League of Legends. And they'd only be snippets. They would only ever do like a full song every now and then. They would do like 20 to 30 seconds of like a parody of a popular song where they're talking League shit. And I thought 
that was so enjoyable. And I've always loved like good parodies and like just like good music pull like that. Like my other favorite YouTubers that, that comes to mind um, is Songify the News and Shmoyoho. They're like the one of the original like auto tune the news people. Like, dude, those YouTube were OG and I really loved them. Um, it would be cool to make some content similar to like to that. But uh, yeah, with that said, guys, day 40 is about to start, so I'm going to log out here, and we're going to call it for this sesh of Dabcraft. Thank you again for watching. It means a whole fucking lot to me. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. Remember to check out some of my other videos if you really want to support your boy and uh, get into what I'm into. Gonna have a lot more new content coming out soon, hopefully.